It's a dream come true for Michael Archer of Top Mountain near Kitson Town in St. Catherine. Behind me is the ground plane. Sweet and dandy is the name of it. It came about some from 2000. It bed one morning and just got a dream. Seeing myself driving this, flying this plane actually, close to the ground. The plane cannot lift high, but I was close to the ground. And very exciting dream. Got up the morning and tell my wife about the dream. But when I actually wake up and realize that it was just a dream and not reality, I was so, I was so disappointed. But the smile that the ground plane elicits today came after much ridicule and risk for Mr. Archer. However, he never gave up. Me and my wife had a joint account of 110,000. I have 200,000. I decided to take out 110,000 and buy a plane that sit in the woods that my wife didn't know about. And actually went to the bank, draw the money, and then after I tell her I bought an airplane. The only thing left for the wife to do was to crucify me on the cross. But she was very upset. If that was not enough, then the process of making the ground plane would cause more people to poke fun at Mr. Archer. People in the community now start to say, I'm gone mad, some say me foolish, some say me bossy. Everybody had their own little comment. But no one actually knew what I wanted to do. I started out by cutting out the bottom of the plane and to mount it onto the Leland truck chassis. However, find out that the chassis would be too big for the plane. So you wouldn't get a comfortable ride and the engine would be too big for the plane. So I had to actually scrap that. But it leaves me actually crying to myself because to know that I have a, a driving Leland truck and now I turn it into scrap. It, it actually bothered me. And as time goes on, I always tell my co-workers at the wharf at KCT terminal where I work that I have a plane and what I'm going to do with the plane. Some always say, Archer, you always, always know you to be a nice man, but Archer, most of my time when you talk, you sound like a stupid man. Everybody had their own comment, but it's still, I still insist that one day this plane must be able to drive. And as the years go by, I bought a Chevy truck. This time my wife looked only to know one evening I'm carrying home a Chevy truck. When I came home with the truck and tell her I buy the truck to put, uh, put the plane on it, she said, you've gone back with that plane something again. Why am the head? I take you again. And I start working on it. However, it never matured. It, it, the front end of the Chevy truck couldn't do the job. So I had to abandon that. After I done, use cotton touch, cut up the Chevy truck, take off the body of the truck, Turn the truck now into scrap, it still couldn't work. So about another three months, I went back and bought a Ford truck. When I buy the Ford, she look outside the following morning, because I came home with it during the night. She look outside the following morning and saw this Ford truck. She said, there's something there for what, the plane again? So I said, yes. And she just turned her face the other way and didn't even look at it. And we start cutting up the truck just like I did with the other trucks. And end up that the four truck is what I really wanted. The four truck. Uh, once we mount the plane on it, I find out that the, the, um, the body of the Ford fit perfect, the engine fit perfect. And I realized that the, the Ford would definitely do the job. And now, Sweet and Dandy is a hot favorite at theme parks and at recreation.